Well, in this story, I'm going to be talking about uh, General Mohozi Kainerugaba, President Museveni's son, who is also the Senior Presidential Advisor on Special Operations. I'm also going to be talking about retired General David Sejusa in this story. Yes, I'm going to be rotating around those two people in this story. It is a very amazing story. I hope you're going to like it right here on The Buzz UG. My name is uh, Melaz Milo, a.k.a. Fuller. Thank you so much for subscribing. And in case you haven't, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications on TikTok, Amelad Milo, aka Fula. Actually, uh, yesterday you must have seen another guy on this platform. He's called MC Morio. That is my brother from another mother. We're going to be working together right here. You know, I'm trying to bring for you different vibes, you know, information with the different vibes right here so that you can enjoy the vibe on this platform, the Buzz UG. So let's welcome him. And uh, when you see him in any story, uh, don't worry about anything don't be like who is this guy again where is melons no i'm around but uh, he will also be giving us information in another kind of vibe okay now let's get the story started now, if you have been following events on social media or even in the mainstream media, you must have landed on this story that uh, the top generals in the UPDF or the historicals in the UPDF are not in support of General Mohozi Kainerugaba's presidential ambitions. Yes, this is a story that has been making rounds on a different, uh, you know, social media platforms or even in the mainstream media, indicating that uh, the top generals in the UPDF are not in support of uh, General Mohozi Kainerugaba's presidential ambitions. Uh, I want to take you back a little bit. You remember in 2013, uh, General David Sejusa wrote a letter to the then Director General of Internal Security Organization, that was uh, Brigadier Ronnie Badia. And uh, in that letter, uh, it was indicated that um, there was a plot to assassinate the top generals in the UPDF opposed uh, to the MK project. That letter was written by General David Sejusa. And some people were mentioned in that letter. Uh, some of those that were mentioned uh, was. Uh, uh, you know, Jeno Aronda Nyakairima, the late, uh, he also mentioned uh, the Minister of Works and Transport, that is uh, Jeno Katumba Wamala. He also mentioned uh, the former Prime Minister of Uganda, Right Honorable Amama Mbabazi. Yes, yeah, so those are some of the people he mentioned in that letter. And um, after writing that letter to the Director General of Internal Security Organization, uh, David Sejusa then fled to exile in London. Yes, he fled to exile in London where he spent about a year and uh, later came back to Uganda. He was arrested and uh, remanded to Luzira prison. But I think later the issue was uh, politically sorted with uh, President Museveni. He was released and uh, right about now he's retired in his home in Zimbabwe. Now the latest update that I'm getting on the Buzz UG has indicated that um, the top leadership of MK movement is planning to link up with uh, General David Sejusa in his home in Zimbabwe, you know, to have uh, some of uh, these issues sorted. Uh, first of all, they want to reconcile the two. Yes, they want uh, General Mohozi Kanerugaba and uh, General David Sejusa to reconcile uh, because I think uh, their relationship has not been very good. Yes, so they want to reconcile. Uh, secondly, they want uh, General David Sejusa to start guiding their standby generator, as they call him, uh, that is uh, General Mohozi Kanerugaba. Since he's looking up to the top seat in the country, they want actually, uh, you know, General David Sejusa to start guiding him uh, so that he can prepare him for the top seat in the country. But other sources or other other reports have indicated that uh, General David Sejusa hasn't allowed this to happen. He's still defiant. Uh, he's still not interested in meeting this top leadership of the MK movement. Uh, we don't know if he's really going to allow to meet them, but Balam Barugahara, one of the very active members of uh, the MK movement, said that very soon they'll be linking up with uh, General David Sejusa in his home in Zimbabwe so that they can have, uh, you know, these two, uh, you know, reconcile and uh, have a very good relationship. However, Horrible Semu Junganda, Chiro Municipality Member of Parliament, in a recent interview said that Ugandans must not allow General Mohozi Kainerugaba to become our next president right here because the moment he gets uh, to be the next president or the moment he replaces his father, uh, President Museveni, then that will be the beginning of uh, another era in the politics of Uganda. Yes, according to Horrible Semu Junganda. Um, 
I don't want you guys to be like, hey, um, this guy is lying, Melanz is lying, Honorable Samuel Junganda didn't say that. No, I want to post it on the screen so that we can read it together. Yes, Honorable Samuel Junganda's statement, I want to post it on the screen right there so that we can read it together. Now, Honorable Samuel Junganda, in his own words, he said, uh, President Museveni and his family turned our fathers and mothers into beggars to him. He wants us to beg his son and our children to beg Mohozi's son as a president. I'm telling you, this will happen if we sleep and allow Mohozi to take over power from his father. Yes, that is a statement coming in from Honorable Semu Junganda, Chira Municipality Member of Parliament, who is also uh, the spokesperson of FDC Party right here in Uganda. I don't know what you have to say about this story, but uh, that is uh, the latest update coming in from uh, that side. Well, I'll keep you posted, especially that part where the top leadership of uh, the MK movement are planning to link up with uh, retired General David Sejusa right there in his home in Zimbabwe. So what you have to do, make sure that you keep it right here by subscribing and also tap on the bell for all the notifications on TikTok and Melads Milo, aka Fuller. Follow me that side as well. Uh, otherwise, uh, thank you so much for watching and it is a bye for now. Thank you.